Hey guys, welcome back. So, we have transmission cross member on a, it gets on a 623 or 613. This goes on the back, bolts to it, and I believe this bolts to the frame. Well, it's just a little, it's not much. But that's too loose. So I think what happened is they ordered this one, brand new. They forgot to order this one. And they're putting it together and they're like, oh, um, hey, we uh, forgot to order this one. We need to make the hole tighter. Well, I got you. Set it up on here. And we're gonna bore it out. Obviously, we're gonna have to weld it up first. It's not gonna require very much welding, just a little bit. And then we'll get the boring head set up on here and bore it out. Should be fairly straightforward. All right, so we got the inside of that clean, we got it preheated a little bit, and then now we're going to uh, weld the inside out. I got kind of a lower profile nozzle on here. Kind of reach in there a little, a little farther. Nice thing is this is not in a fixed position, so I can weld whatever's comfortable, and then I can flip it. All right, we got that welded out. We're going to use this stone wheel, take off the high spots in there. It'll be a little bit easier on the boring, boring bit. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna let this cool down all the way, get it set up in the mill, get everything zeroed out, and then we'll start boring. All right, got her, got her strapped down, got it zeroed out. We're just gonna use a cheap boring head off of Amazon. I can't find my good one. I don't know where it's at, so we're going to use this one. Um, it's a little bit long. Might have a little bit of chatter. We'll see what happens. We'll play with our uh, feeds and speeds there. All right, now we'll just slowly start uh, boring that out until it's tight. Tight to the shaft over there. Well, I was gonna show you making the last cut, but I thought I had one more to go, and I don't. So we actually landed right on the money here. Got a little bit of chatter. 
up here towards the top, it smooths out a little bit, no big deal. All right, let's uh, see how that fits. Perfect. All right, so we got that done. That little bit of weld left right there, probably not an issue, but I don't have like the right bit to chamfer that on the on the mill. So I'm just gonna kind of use this, just kind of break that edge. I mean, this has a small bevel on it and it's, I don't really think it's an issue, but we'll just break that edge on both sides and then uh, probably a little bit of paint should be good to go. All right, now the other side. All right, now we're done. All right, well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.